If you're a fan of movies, you've probably watched numerous movies where people get stuck in the elevators. It's reported that about 30 people die while about 17,000 are injured every year in the U.S. from elevator accidents. Could these cases have been avoided? Many people fear getting stuck in a lift or elevator, especially those anxious about small spaces. Although getting stuck in an elevator is rare, you can still find yourself stuck. Hence, you must know what to do in such a situation. Elevators are impossible to avoid since they're found everywhere, including your office, hospitals, or hotels. So what safety tips do you need to survive if you find yourself stuck in a lift or elevator? Welcome to Discovery Instinct. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and share buttons. Also, press the bell icon to be notified of more interesting videos. And here are your seven life-saving tips on how to survive being stuck in an elevator. Number one, stay calm. It doesn't matter if you have a small space phobia or not. Getting stuck in an elevator can be nerve-wracking. All you can think about is the worst-case scenario. However, it's important that you stay calm and get help as quickly as possible. Since you need to talk to the operator, please take a few deep breaths, talk to them clearly, and await assistance. Number two, raise the alarm. It doesn't mean that you start screaming uncontrollably. In an elevator, there's an emergency button. If you are stuck in an elevator, please press the alarm button. You will be connected to the operator always on standby to help anyone stuck in an elevator. Other elevators have this emergency button hooked to a bell that alerts people that someone is stuck on the inside and that needs help. Number three, press the door open button. At times, an elevator needs a bit of troubleshooting that you can do yourself. You can try pressing the door open button to see if it works, then press the door close button. If these two don't work, press the button for a floor below. If none of this works, don't smash the buttons in anger, but wait for help. Number four, call for help. If the elevator doors are slightly open and you can see the light, you are near a floor. Try shouting at the top of your lungs for help. You can also hit the door with an object such as your beautiful heels to alert people on the outside. However, stay calm while calling for help. Number five, trust the professionals. After pressing the emergency button, the operators you talk to are experienced in helping in these situations. Therefore, you need to trust what they advise you to do so that you're out of the lift in the shortest amount of time possible. Let the professionals do their job. Number six, move to the back of the lift. When help arrives, you might feel the urge to help open the doors from the inside. However, you should stay at the rear of the lift as the professionals open the door. Stay out of their way to ensure that they open the doors safely without you getting hurt from tools or quick movements. Number seven, don't try to force the doors open. In a panic situation, you might want to open the doors yourself. However, this can be dangerous. Even if the doors are slightly open, don't attempt opening them, as this can put you at risk if the lift starts moving again. Maybe you've dismembered it even. It's terrible. And there you have it. Even though it's very rare, you can find yourself stuck in an elevator. It's important to stay calm, call for help, and wait it out. Move to the back of the elevator and don't try to force the doors open. With these tips, you can enjoy an elevator ride without any worries. If you enjoyed our video, make sure to subscribe, comment, like, and hit the bell icon to be notified about upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Check out these next Discovery Instinct videos.